Great. Uh, well, we are live here with uh, Quantum Leap um, with Clifton Barnes. So I'm excited to have on a good friend of mine and fellow videographer. And this is my third segment of the day, you know, in case you were wondering, I actually come from the world of politics where there's no such thing as overexposure. So, um, you know, we're, <laughs> I'm not, not worrying about that, um, although I do. Um, I, I think we always have a lot to talk about because, you know, we're both lovers of video and really see the potential for video to grow your business. And we're going to get to that and really focus on Clifton. I just wanted to um, ask, see how you are today, Clifton, and uh, welcome to Quantum Leap. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. I'm doing all right. It's a little bit of rainy, but, uh, you know, I, I, I like it. It's nice. It's rejuvenating. I know you say you you like to be you feel more comfortable behind the camera than on camera, even though you're great on camera. So um, you know that it's all good, and I, I still use a lot of the B roll we shot in our last segment, and I look forward to shooting some more again sometime soon. I have some innovative ideas for us to kind of work together. So as things open yeah. up, I see a lot of potential for us to be out there and really helping people use video to, you know, take their business to the next level, which we're, we're going to talk about. But um, before we get to that, I did want to just ask you about your story and your professional background. You actually were born into a family of, of videographers, so to speak. So uh, I'll let, turn it over to you to tell us that. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, my father started the company in 1985. So I'm a second generation videographer in CANC Video Production. So what it stands for actually is Clifton, which is my father, Annette, which is my mother, and children. I, I'm, my name is Clifton Jr. and I have a sister named Aisha as well. So, you know, it's a family run business. And now, you know, years later, I am running the business. Uh, I officially started running it in 2008. And then, you know, as time went on, of course, what's going on now, live streaming is the most important thing. But since we started in 1985, one of the things that we do in preserving history is uh, transfer analog media to digital format. So a lot of people still want, because they have the VHS tapes, uh, you know, in their attic or they're cleaning up around the house and they find it. And so we transfer the analog to digital format, to online jump drive, and people still ask for DVDs still, even though that's phasing out as well. But so, yeah. Great, yeah, we were just looking at your great ad in Money Pages, we had Nancy Williams on. So, you know, Clifton's one of the, you know, top producers of video in the area, be it, you know, live events, weddings, a video for business. You know, I've seen some of your video uh, for, business segments and they're very very well done and professional Thanks. so i think you know it really does take a lifetime to learn how to do video well and you know you have the benefit of having your dad you know teach you a lot of that and kind of learning on the job so to speak so i really admire the kind of all the gaps that i see that you've filled in in terms of that i'm still working on certain things and that's why i feel like together as power partners you know, you're, you're kind of stronger than working separately in some in some ways. A lot of jobs we just have to do on our own. That's just how it, the nature of the by project. But um, I I did want to just ask you about why do businesses need video? So one of the it's, it's funny it's funny thing. Uh, you know, everybody knows that Google is the number one search engine in the world. Well number two search engine in the world is actually YouTube. So honestly, and you know, when the pandemic first hit, YouTube's skyrocketed, you know, there's already billions of hours literally uploaded to YouTube every day, billions of hours. So it, the thing about it is, is that businesses need video. They say that picture is worth a thousand words. How about uh, a thousand words, 30 frames a second, a thousand, you know, words a second. It's, it's, it's one of those things where video helps you tell your story, uh, not only to either promote yourself, promote your business, promote your expertise, but it also uh, can help, you know, whether it's a business, whether it's a personal uh, event. It's, it's really about the video is needed for businesses to be able to show that they can do the work, show that they have done the work, and you know to promote themselves for the future, any other endeavor that they have. So video is extremely important. Thank you, and 
Um, you know, I've, I've thought about this, about kind of how to explain this. And one thing that I think is powerful is that video actually creates the feeling, you know, so video is worth a thousand words because, you know, after watching, you know, one minute segment, people can see that and go, well, you know, I want to work with that person, you know, or I want to work with that business. And, you know, I, I see that in watching some of your segments too. So it's really, um, you don't really know what you're missing until you have good video sometimes when you get that new segment done and what that can actually do for your business. So um, I did, I, I saw the example of the one you did for the cleaning service up on your website. And we're gonna put that, um, the links to those in the chat box um, really about, you know, you can really focus on your story. You have a very, you know, business, um, savviness to you in terms of, you know, what's going to work well on video that really takes a while to learn. And then um, I did want to ask you another product that you offer that you've done really well is uh, video testimonials and how, you know, if you don't mind telling us what those are and how those can be used beneficial to promote your business. So I would say the testimonial. So now, you know, as I was saying earlier, video is, helps you either to show your expertise or, you know, in the terms of video testimonials, it really helps others talk about you as well. Everybody can talk about themselves, but it is more powerful when you have a recommendation, when somebody talks about you. And the reason why video testimonials is so important is the other, you're not only, you know, reviews, the first thing that you do usually when you go to Amazon or any uh, service to buy something is you want to hear what other people are saying. So you can see the written reviews, yes, but a video testimonial, the reason why it works is, again, video is important. You're able to see the emotions. You're able to see the excitement uh, that somebody has for whatever product or service that they just purchased or uh, you know bought. And that's why it's important to have the video testimonials, especially on your website. Uh, you, can, you can do a lot of things with those video testimonials once you have them. You can put them on your website, on your social media. Those are videos that show that you can do whatever you are promoting and advertising. So it really helps you know, to be able to show, to, to almost prove, because a lot of people are afraid of bots or robots to, you know, people might fake that, okay, I'm the best at this and this, but when you have a real person, they're giving a little bit of their credibility to now up or improve your credibility. So it, it's a win-win. It helps you in a lot of different fronts. Great. Thank you. Another big thing that you do that is in high need, especially not very few people know how to do it well, but you have a lot of experience with it is live streaming services. So I wanted to offer you about, ask you about uh, what live streaming you do, you know, first of all, what, what that is for people who may not know, kind of, I mean, this is a live stream right now, but um, you know, what kind of live streaming you do and what you offer in that service category. So yeah, the thing about it, you know, what's funny again, uh, speaking about the pandemic is a lot of people didn't even know it was possible to live stream before. It's, it's pretty incredible that people really didn't know that it was possible. You, you know, if you say you have a wedding, instead of live streaming, people just invite 300 guests or, you know, however many they want to have. And they say, okay, you can come or you don't. It's, it's your choice. So to live stream was not it was the direction that things were heading, but it really didn't catch up. <laughs> Almost, you, you think of it as uh, the, the transition from VHS to DVD. The DVDs were around for a while before it really caught up to the mainstream. Um, same with CDs, audio. You, you hear the terms with Napster, you, you know, streaming music wasn't a thing. People wanted still wanted vinyl because that sounded the best, you know? So it was really a transition in technology. So live streaming was really, is really something that has been around. A lot of people now know about it, which is great because instead of things being shut down, instead of conferences being shut down, as people stop doing seminars, you can live stream it. And to a broader audience, I've live streamed uh, galas for nonprofit organizations. They had that and then there was people that they touched around the world, literally. Um, there was a memorial service that I did that had over 200 people in attendance at this memorial service because you're talking about people 
from around the world whose life the person, you know, the memorial service was for, they touched that person. So you can have hundreds of people, thousands, if you know you want, you can have thousands of people look at whatever live stream that is, whether it is a wedding, a seminar, birthday party, anything like that. Uh, so live streaming is definitely here to stay, even after when everything gets back to normal, live streaming will still be something that should be implemented and will be implemented. Great. And, um, you know, I, I think a lot of people don't understand with video sometimes that they think because they can do it on their phone that, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it myself and um, not hire a true professional. But I just see a lot of nightmare scenarios out there in terms of what people create with these videos that are kind of memorable, but not in a good way. Um, I just wanted to hear your take on, you know, why you would should hire a professional instead of trying to do it yourself, be it a, a business video or maybe live streaming an event or, you know, I just see so many errors and follies out there in the world of video of people who don't know what they're doing and really end up with some pretty disastrous results, so to speak. So, you know, what's interesting is that, you know, everybody thinks that just because you have a phone and it just happens to have a camera that you can take great pictures. And the thing about it is, is that it is set up for you to make it easy. Yes. But if you are trying to record, say, a movie or you're trying to record a seminar, you're trying to live stream, let's just say that it's one of those things where you, you have to have somebody that is thinking about certain things like lighting. You're thinking about camera angles. You're thinking about, let's just go beyond just a regular seminar and say that if you're gonna make a movie, you have to now think about the scripting. You have to think about the different angles, the different lenses that you have to use because some lenses can make you look fat. You know, everybody says that on TV, you put on an extra 15 pounds. It's one of those things where it's the lens type because a lens can make you look skinny, can make you look fat, it can, it can deform or warp the image. Some uh, camera angles can make you look scary. That's why if you look at uh, horror movies, it's a different camera angle and different mood than say, you know, a, a comedy. There's just different things that behind the camera you would think you would need to think about in order to present that uh, present the story or present the the different things that you want to be able to display on on film on camera um, so that's the thing is you know everybody has the capabilities of doing it and everybody has the capability of learning it but it's a thing that you definitely have to learn you have to know what lens is good what lighting is good how much lighting what angles what you know what type of angles so there's a lot of different things than just holding it up and just shooting, so. Yeah, and I, I have a few anecdotes there. I really think it's it's almost muscle memory that, you know, so much of what we do is so on the fly that if you don't know how to do it, it shows that you can't go out there and like learn it on the job unless you've done it and had those years of making the mistakes and kind of improving certain angles and lenses. And I really see that, you know, what comes with the experience is the ability to visualize segments. So you think of, you know, what this segment should look like and how to get there to kind of, you know, recreate that at the beginning of the project. And I just don't, there's no way to have that knowledge if you haven't done video before. And, um, you know, one last thing I, I think is that, um, well, I mean, the, the, the mood and the look, you know, sometimes certain things like, you know, or scary, like you're saying, if you have the lighting coming from down below and you have a weird angle, that is creepy video and that can just ruin your brand and, you know, can be very jarring. So I think, you know, to, to really to think through kind of the mood and the overall what you're trying to present. And, you know, I just see that in your videos, how you want to present this professional together, you know, upbeat vibe or, you know, whatever it may be, but you have an awareness of that, which nobody has unless you do video for, you know, professionally that I've seen. So, so. Um, and that was yeah. one of the things that you said as well is, is the planning, you know, a lot of the videos when you're making, when you're making the videos, especially a commercial, 
Uh, you have to have a plan. I mean, even if it's a memorial service, you still have to have a plan of, you know, what kind of angles that you want to have, say, or a wedding, if the person is walking down the aisle, when are they walking down the aisle? Is it just them or how? So you're, you're setting up those different uh, angles and shots and where you want to be, when you want to be there. So yeah, the planning is definitely important as well. For any shoot, you definitely want to have a plan. Uh, planning is definitely important. Great. Well, um, you know, I look forward to work, continuing to work with you. I know there's a lot of things you do that I don't necessarily do as often, you know, weddings and some of the live streaming things. And, you know, of course, the recording of, um, you know, VHS, take, putting that on digital. So you do a whole slate of services. You do great work on business videos. I see us, you know, being power partners in that category, too. And uh, continuing to work together and share information and, um, you know, continuing to push the limits of what we can do with video. So uh, thanks for coming on and being a power partner. And I look forward to talking to you soon, Clifton. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Have a good day, everyone.